I was discussing with a friend the psychology of a pandemic. The idea that um, behind everything that's happening right now, people have this desire for understanding because we believe understanding leads to control. In ancient man, it looked this way. We will say that the oceans, the woods, the rivers are controlled by these fairies or nymphs, and that gives us some idea uh, that there's something behind all this. Now it is memes and, and studies that may or may not be done scientifically, all in an effort to get us to feel like we have some measure of control. Sometimes I even hear people blame it on the sins of the world, or, or they'll blame it for God's, as God's condemnation for a particular group. We've seen this throughout different tragedies, and they usually reference Sodom and Gomorrah as their biblical evidence for this is how God operates. I'm going to strongly disagree with that concept. In light of Sodom and Gomorrah, the scriptures in the Old Testament also remind us that the rain falls on the just and the unjust. That there is this point in which we have to accept that this is a fallen world. Life does not always seem to treat us fairly, but we still trust that God will settle it out in the end. If I could go to the New Testament, the New Testament reminds us that, that maybe trials and tribulations can root and ground and deepen our faith. Maybe when we, when we realize that life is not as simple as we want it to be, it kind of exposes who we are. And so as we, we go into these times, I see people being exposed. I see people being frail and scared. I see people lashing out, and I want to remind you, God is still in control. Let's use that New Testament lens. Let's look at this and say, okay, God, how is this teaching me endurance? How is this promoting and growing my faith? How can I use these moments to point to you, the one who reigns on the just and on the unjust? Let us also not forget that without the rain, we wouldn't have these beautiful flowers. We wouldn't have this beautiful world. And so, rain, shine. God remains steadfast, and so should we. If you find yourself struggling, find people to connect with. Send me an email, send me a text. We'll, we'll pray about it, we'll discuss it together. We'll try to make sure we stay firmly rooted and grounded and the God who loves us no matter what, would you pray with me? Father, in the midst of uncertain times when it is easy, easy to find blame or to seek solutions that, that may not exist, Father, let us remind ourselves that your love and grace remain steadfast. Father, let us uh, remind ourselves that you can use even moments like these to grow our hearts, our minds, and our lives, that our faith would deepen and we would be more connected to you. And so, Father, we want to breathe deep of your presence that in the midst of difficult times, your love and grace would continue to grow us, that we would be your beautiful children for your glory. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right, everyone, look at that. I timed that super awesome. <laughs> Remember to stay distant, stay connected, and I love you all.